Welcome to Fantasy Audiobook. Chapter 16. Phew. Chu Zi lay comfortably in Li Xu's arms, breathing in the fresh air. It had been three years, and this was the first time he had breathed the air outside the Spirit Beast Pavilion. Xiao I, from today onwards, you are going to say goodbye to your previous laziness. Although you are talented, you also need to work hard. Ah, I know. Chu Zi dealt with it casually, but did not pay attention to it. Signing Li Shu is just a change of salted fish. And it's more comfortable salted fish. What kind of academy hegemony matter? You have to hurry, I urgently need a little brother to work for me now. Naturally, when I have time, I will go to the old man to discuss, just when I want to point him to two moves, it can be regarded as an equal exchange. The two chatted casually and walked towards Li Shu's bedroom. Xiao Shu, that fighter, how sure are you about the dad race? It's hard to say yet, I haven't seen the battle between the royal beast masters, and I don't know much about how they fight. But it shouldn't be a big deal. Quote. Li Shu is very relaxed, and does not pay much attention to the so-called academy competition. Not long after, the two arrived at the door of the dormitory. Chu Zixin was about to jump out. It's coming, it's coming. It's finally coming. After living two lifetimes, I finally want to enter a girl's boudoir once. Or the female emperors. Will there be such cultivation things as small inner insides? If Li Shu put her ant scarf everywhere again, it would not be good. The moment the door opened, the excitement in Chu Zi's eyes turned into disappointment. Li Shu's bedroom was cleaner than her face. There was nothing but a bare bed. Maid, don't you guys change your pig's feet? Aren't you pig's feet coming to the great ant? Grass. Disappointed. You live in this kind of place. How else? After entering the door, Li Shu went straight to the side of the bed and sat down. Pick up a spell in your hand. As if being guided, the spiritual power around him gathered towards the top of Li Shu's head. I'll teach you to cultivate. Bring your left thumb and index finger together and lie flat on your knee. The thumb of the right hand is connected to the middle finger, and the remaining three fingers are intersected and placed on the chest. So simple. Chu Zi couldn't believe it. But I also tried it according to the method taught by Li Shu. A moment later. Chu Zi. Aren't you entertaining the family? He didn't feel any spiritual power at all. However, the spiritual power above Li Shu's head was already visible to the naked eye. Never mind. Compared to pig's feet, I really am a waste. Waste can only be salted fish. Besides, do I have to be weaker than you in salted fish? After a while, the snoring sounded. Saliva ran down Li Shu's shoulder. Dot dot dot. After a long time, a turbid breath came out. Li Shu woke up slowly. Glancing inwardly at the Dantian, his realm increased a little. This is also for the sake of consolidating the foundation and deliberately slowing down. Otherwise, she would already be a cultivator in the late stage of the spirit level now. How is Xiao I? Li Shu turned her head sideways and looked over her shoulders. The lungs almost exploded. Chu Zi's saliva had already wet her clothes. Get up. Who? Who am I? Where am I? Who is shouting? Chu. Zi was excited, covered in cold sweat. Ding. Sweet dreams are woken up and the mood is unpleasant. To make up for a good mood, you need to let. The female emperor sleep with her arms around, activate special tasks, the female emperor sleeps with her arms around. Mission reward. 2 million salted fish value. You scared me. The two small claws patted their chests with a palpitating expression. You still have the face to say. What I just said is good, you have to practice well. And the result. You're sleeping again. Who said I was sleeping? I'm obviously cultivating. As he spoke. Chu Zi's brain was also racing rapidly. Gotta find a way to achieve salted fish freedom. You cultivate. Come and come. Then you tell me, how do you cultivate? Li Shu said with a straight face, gritting her teeth. Although Xiao Ai is very talented, he can't live up to his talent so much, and Li Shu is determined to make him realize the seriousness of the problem. You. I don't know. I didn't fall asleep just now. While speaking, Chu Zi clicked on the mall. Life Dan asterisk 500. I was fake sleep just now, do you know fake sleep? Power Dan asterisk 500. When you fake sleep, people are the easiest to have an epiphany, and I was on the verge of epiphany and stew just now. Agile Dan asterisk 500. You whimpered and directly pulled me back from the edge of epiphany. 
Defense Dan asterisk 500. It's good now. No epiphany success. Get only a fraction of the power. Quote. Recover Dan asterisk 500. Blame you. Spirit Dan asterisk 500. Say, how are you going to compensate me? Physical strength Dan asterisk 500. Looked at the 500 increase in all attributes, and Chu Zi's waist immediately straightened. Li Xu was suspicious. The right hand tentatively clicked on Chu Zi's soft stomach. Then he shrank back like an electric shock. Really getting stronger. Chu Zi could become stronger lying down, she had heard Chu Zi talk about it. But she didn't take it to heart at the time. Thought that this was Chu Zi's nonsense in order to hide his secrets. Never expected. He actually became stronger lying down. And right on your shoulder. It's like watching a movie for two people. Watching it 10,000 times is not as good as practicing it once in person, bringing the kind of prick. Thrill, shock. After the shock, one question after another appeared in Li Xu's mind. Why? By what? No way. Spirit beasts are not cultivated like this. Whether strong or not, the attitude must be correct. This is important for later. Li Xu made up his mind, he still had to let Chu Zi cultivate seriously. Although you can increase the realm by lying down, you may not be good at anything else. Well, not bad, so so. The realm has grown slightly, which I expected. But the real battle is not higher than the realm. You must remember this. For example, the experience of the enemy is very important. In the middle of speaking, Li Xu suddenly stopped talking. Because she found that Chu Zi's experience against the enemy did not seem to be bad. In the desperate situation of facing Xiao Yu, he can come up with a way to borrow a knife to kill. Of course, experience against the enemy is only part of the victory. Only experience, without the corresponding means is still not enough. For example, exercises, powerful exercises often have the power of burning the sky and boiling the sea, and they have the power to hang upside down in the firmament. I'll teach you the exercises now. You are a dual attribute of wood and water, I will teach you a trick of old tree packing. Crackle. An arc of electricity flashed on Chu Zi's body. Li Shu froze. Li Shu. I didn't teach him the exercises. How could he have it himself? Are you using me, the contractor, as a decoration? That's not right. Wrong wrong. Very wrong. You are a dual attribute of wood and water, this is the skill you should learn, and the thunder and lightning just now is just a little doyle. Li Shu decided that he must use his strength to deter Chu Zi today, and he couldn't let him be so scattered. Suddenly, a message flooded into Li Shu's mind. Skill. 100,000 volts. Level. S. Skill description. With the power of powerful Leiden, it attacks enemies, causing huge damage, with paralyzing attributes. Li Shu. When will I do it? How did I not know? It won't be you. Right. Chu Zi nodded. Just spent 100,000 salted fish value and bought a skill share. In this way, he can share his skills with Li Shu at any time. No, 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 this can't work. Li Shu suddenly found herself shocked. Where to put the face of the female emperor? Normally, the contract mainly guides spirit beasts. Or elevate the realm. Or stimulate the power of the bloodline. Or awakening skills. However, Chu Zi didn't need to guide at all. Not only does he not need to guide, but he feeds back his natural skills to himself. Your cultivation attitude is absolutely not good. I'm still that sentence, you have to practice well. She wanted to say more, but two figures were rushing towards this side. Chapter 17. Bang bang bang. There was a knock on the door. Li Shu stretched out her hand and held Chu Zi in her arms, as if she was afraid of being snatched away. Chu Zi immediately enjoyed the troubles of happiness. Too big. Panic. In. The old Dean and Han Pong walked in with a solemn face. When they saw the goose yellow little beast in Li Shu's arms, the two sighed in their hearts. Li Shu, you are still too playful. Xiao Shu, we came today, we have a few things to discuss with you. It just so happened that Li Shu also had something to find him, and said first. I want to participate in the academy tournament. The two were stunned, and then smiled slightly. They originally wanted to persuade Li Shu to participate, but they didn't expect Li Shu to speak first. Good. I promised you. However, it is not so easy to participate in the academy competition. You have to fight for a place for yourself on your own. Li Shu just nodded slightly and didn't say anything more. 
There are eight places in the academy, and if you want to be selected, you have to squeeze one of them down. With your current strength, it may be a little difficult. But don't worry, there is still half a month before the internal selection. Vice President Han and I will help you improve your strength in this half month. Also, this is the information of the weakest three trainees, you study it carefully. The old dean handed Li Shu a stack of materials. However, before the information was opened, it turned into ashes in Li Shu's hands. I know my strength and don't need such despicable means. The two people on the opposite side were stunned again, but they were amazed in their hearts. If you want to become a strong person, you must have a heart that pursues the ultimate. If it were in normal times, they would definitely not come up with such means. But now are extraordinary times. There is only half a month left before the internal selection. Thinking of this, Han Peng spoke first. I heard Master Dean say that you are now at the level of spirit level elementary level. If it's just a fight for individual strength, it's not difficult to squeeze into the eight-person list. However, as a royal beast master, your opponent is cooperated with spirit beasts and can exert strength beyond your own realm. The two glanced at the goose-yellow little beast in Li Shu's arms, and sighed heavily. How did you contract such a thing? Therefore, the spirit level elementary is a little inadequate. If you want to secure a place, it is best to be in the spirit level. I will help you improve in this half month. The old dean took the conversation and continued. In this half a month, I will also help you find a powerful spirit beast. Even if it can't help you in battle, it can at least serve as a deterrent. After speaking, the two quietly looked at Li Shu to see how she answered. You just need to tell me the time and place, and you don't have to worry about the rest. When Chu Zi in his arms heard this, he called the good guy. Isn't this the flat-headed brother? It's the same when the flat-headed brother fights. Who the opponent is and how many people there are, you don't need to tell me any of this. All you have to do is tell me where your opponent is. Flat-headed brother is stupid. Chu Zi knew that Li Shu had strong confidence in herself. But old Dean Han Peng didn't know. When the two heard this, they were immediately anxious. Xiao Shu, don't be careless. Xiao Shu, you still don't know how to fight. Those trainees are very strong, and there is one person you need to be extra careful with, he has a lot of hostility towards you. Do you remember Xiao Yu? Xiao Yu's older brother Xiao Hua is in the third grade. Quote. After you hit Xiao Yu last time, Xiao Hua wanted to take revenge, but there was no reason. If you compete this time, he must be crazy against you. Li Shu was originally a little depressed because of Chu Zi's affairs. Hearing Xiao Hua's name, he was even more angry. Tell Xiao Hua that he can't run. Old Dean, Han Peng. Without waiting for the two to speak, Li Shu put her index finger up. A bit of pure spiritual power flickered at your fingertips. Hiss, hiss, I knock. This, the, two gasped. Although the spiritual power on Li Shu's fingertips was only the size of a grain of rice, it represented her current realm. Not a spirit level elementary level. It's the late stage of the spirit level. Why? By what? Terrans don't cultivate like that. How long has it been since I entered school? How is it late in the spirit level? Wasn't the first two days just the beginning of the spirit level? Is it enough? Enough is enough. That's enough. Gifted. The old man has witnessed many trainees, but there has never been a trainee like you. So, the old dean, who could speak well, ran out of words at this moment. Relatively speaking, Han Peng is relatively calm. Groove. It's so fierce. After the excitement, the two tried to calm their emotions. As a royal beast master, spirit beasts are equally important. Your current realm is at the top of our students, but compared with other academies, especially Tian Yuan Academy, the advantage is not so obvious. And they have powerful spirit beasts in their hands. In order to win the championship in the end, you must sign a spirit beast that is not weaker than them. Unknowingly, the two had set their goal on winning the championship. Take a moment to go to the spirit beast pavilion again. The old dean suggested. Nope. It's enough. Li Shu gently rubbed Chu Zi's head. Pick up, pick up. For a time, electricity was everywhere, and thunder was dense. Silver snakes are like wild dogs out of control, frantically fleeing inside the house. Listening to the rumbling thunder, the trainees in the distance hurriedly collected their clothes. The two people in the room were shocked and speechless. This is still the little beast that is lazy and eats and waits for death. 
How did it become so strong? Li Shu, your cultivation is also too good. You are simply a heaven given heavenly academy. No, it is a gift to our Terrans. With you, why worry about aliens? Good, bull. The two completely obeyed, and did not say anything more. What else to say? Speechless. The two looked at each other and gave each other an encouraging look. The old dean spoke. Shaoshu, that, those few words you told me two days ago. Can you explain it to me? As soon as he finished speaking, the old dean's face turned red. Originally, I came to guide Li Shu today. I never expected that I would let Li Shu guide me. Li Shu nodded and slowly spoke. Recognize the nine houses and nine stars. The eight gates and nine palaces go one by one. The nine palaces are the value symbol. The eight door values make itself distinct. The human body has nine tips, which can be regarded as nine palaces. Corresponding to this is the nine stars above the starry sky, the Big Dipper accounts for seven, the North Pole accounts for one, and where is the other star? The old dean was stunned and glanced at Han Peng next to him. There is quite a sense of being questioned by a teacher when he was a student and asking Shweba for help. However, the teacher's questions were too difficult, and Shweba, Han Peng was also confused. Who the can understand this? After a moment of silence, Han Peng boldly said cautiously. Dare to ask. But months. Li Shu nodded, with approval in her eyes. Good. The moon is the master of the starry sky, and the same is true for cultivation. His mind is smart, but he is also too smart. It is easy to be blinded by other stars, and he loses the brightest one. Although you are a royal beast master, you are still a cultivator in the end. Self-strength is the foundation of a monk. Don't put the cart before the horse. The old dean was taken aback, and was stunned and silent on the spot. Turning his head, Li Shu looked at Han Peng. You have a minor dark wound. It doesn't pose any threat to your life, but it also makes your body like an open pocket. You should recuperate the dark injury for the time being, otherwise it will be difficult to advance for life, and the honorable level is your limit. Han Peng was covered in cold sweat, even more surprised than the old dean. He had been on the battlefield of an alien race, and the dark wound was left at that time. However, he never said it to anyone. Unexpectedly, it was broken by Li Shu today. Teachable. The two bowed and saluted. In this way, I will wait for Xiao Shu to show her might in the academy competition. Dot dot dot. The night is getting darker. Chu Zi looked at Li Shu with a smile. Nah. At noon said okay, I will release 100,000 volts once, you put your arms around me tonight to sleep. Dot 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 dot. The other side. Terran territory. After the demon clan paid a huge price, Suzaku City was broken. Unexpectedly, the demon clan did not continue to attack in a big way, but retreated. Just when the leader of the legion defending the city was wondering, everyone from the Taiyan Academy who went to participate in the academy battle was intercepted and killed. Dot dot dot. Dot dot dot. Fifteen days later, selection within the Fried Sky Academy began. Chapter 18. Did you sign up? What's the name? Our academy's internal selection. This time, the dean is open to all grade places, and anyone who wants to participate can sign up. What's wrong with you? Something about me. We're only in first grade. The two first-year freshmen chatted casually. I didn't feel much about the old dean's decision. Well said. What for fairness, for justice? And what to stimulate the sense of battle of all cadets? What for the survival of the Terrans? Shit. The old dean's move was nothing more than wanting to make the group of old fritters in the third grade find confidence. However, I heard that some of our first grade really signed up. Good fellow, do you really like to find abuse? Xiao Yu. Quote. Xiao Yu didn't go, it's the one named Li Xu. Go, see. Dot dot dot. Yun Fei, have you signed up? Nope. I know my strength very well, I can rank around 10th out of all the students, and it is impossible to squeeze into the top 8. Next year, it's not too late for me to attend next year. Zhang Yunfei, the representative of the second grade, said. However, I still have to go and see how big the gap between me and Liang Tian and Ji Yun is. Saying that, Zhang Yunfei also got up and walked towards the trainee coliseum. Dot dot dot. The coliseum is located in the middle of the academy and is used by cadets to compete on weekdays. Usually few people come. But today, the coliseum, which can accommodate thousands of people, is overcrowded. 
students from the third grade sat in their respective areas, quietly waiting for the protagonists to appear. Today, the stage belongs to them. Dot dot dot. It's coming. As the noisy coliseum became quiet, Han Peng led the trainees who participated in the tryouts to appear. In an instant, everyone's eyes were focused on the huge ring. Ji Yun, Liang Tian, Li Yinyang, Zhang Bufin, Xiao Hua, Lin Miaoyu. These are all well-known masters in the academy, and they are also the strongest people in the Exploding Sky Academy. If nothing else, these people will be in the list of eight. As strong as they are, it is inevitable that they will be a little nervous when facing almost all the teachers and students of the college. However, the freshmen on the side were very calm and seemed a little out of place. And who? It seems to be a freshman this year, called. What's it called? Right. His name is Li Xu, he is this year's rookie king and the first freshman to sign a spirit beast. Freshman. How did the freshman get up in the ring? The second year students discussed in a low voice, full of curiosity about Li Xu. It is difficult for such a beautiful woman not to attract attention. Send it to death. Xiao Yu on the side snorted coldly, and was worried that Li Xu had snatched away his title of rookie king. He couldn't wait for Han Peng to announce the start right away. He couldn't wait to see his brother humiliate Li Xu in the bright. It's only been such a short time to enroll, and being able to sign a spirit beast is worthy of being a newcomer king, and it's not much worse than our Zhang Yunfei. The second year student commented. Wait, how is her contract beast? How is it so special? If you don't stay in the spirit beast ball, how can you climb on the shoulders of the master? The man who opened his mouth was extremely envious of Chu Zi's treatment. HMPH, Xiao Yu, who was already angry, was even more angry. The right hand that was pinched off by Li Xu has healed, but Chu Zi's foot is muffled on the contract mark, causing his head to still buzz now. Dot dot dot. Ahem. Coughing lightly, Han Peng drew everyone's attention to himself. As all the teachers and students can see, today we are conducting the selection of the academy competition in the Exploding Heaven Academy. The rules are very simple. Two pairs of battles, mix and match at will, the winner advances to the next round, the loser is eliminated, and no one challenges it will automatically advance to the next round. Surrender or no strength in a battle, it is regarded as a loss, and the victory or defeat is decided by me. If you don't have any doubts, let's start. Han Peng implements his fierce style. If you change to the old Dean, the opening speech can be said until tomorrow. After saying that, everyone was ready to pick their opponent. Several people walked towards Li Xu with grins. Li Xu, who had been silent, suddenly spoke at this moment. Han Peng, I want to. Slow and slow. Without waiting for Li Xu to finish speaking, Chu Zi quickly stopped her. Are you trying to say that you want to single out this group? Chu Zi made a p-face, pointed to the full ring of trainees and asked Li Xu. No, I just don't know the rules very well, I want to ask Han Peng. You come less. Your eyes just drifted up. This is a manifestation of obvious lying. You just want to single them out. Little sister. Loki, you have to learn from me, Loki. Understand. Quote. Okay, okay, I'll keep a low profile. Seeing that his mind was recognized, Li Xu had to shrug helplessly and decided to keep a low profile. Xiao Xu San, what's wrong? Is there anything you don't understand? Oh, what are you guys doing? I didn't hear that Xiao Xu had any questions, and then moved indiscriminately and directly disqualified. Xiao Xu, don't hesitate to ask. Don't worry, I will know everything and say everything. Han Peng walked up to Li Xu and said with a spoiled look. Other participants, you are double standard than the people of the beautiful country. It's okay. Li Xu spoke lightly. Han Peng suddenly felt embarrassed. Poof. Some trainees couldn't help but laugh out loud. Han Peng's embarrassment immediately turned into anger. Above the ring, what a system of hip-hop. Disqualified. Quote. Can't mess with Li Xu, I can't cure you yet. Vice President Han, I just suddenly thought of something funny. The disqualified trainee quickly explained. The battle is imminent, you actually have the heart to think about some and some of it, do you know, if it happened on the battlefield, you may have died just now. Five points deducted. Han Peng drank coldly, and the trainee walked off the ring with his face drawn. Everyone in the ring quickly suppressed their smiles and began to carefully select their opponents. Liang Tian, 
Too strong to beat. Ji Yun. It's also too strong. I still can't beat it. Li Yin Yang. If you can't fight too much, the key is that his mouth is endless, and from time to time the Yin and Yang are strange, and it is easy to break his defense. Bald Shalwa. No, it's too ruthless. Today I am here to negotiate, and I can't break my arm or leg. The only soft persimmon is Li Shu. But looking at Vice President Han's eyes just now, it was obvious that Li Shu was his granddaughter. If he really wanted to hurt Li Shu, in less than three days, his credits would have to be deducted into a negative number by him. I, if Li Shu took the initiative to challenge us, in that case, even if she was injured, Vice President Han would not have much to say. But that's basically impossible. Li Shu will definitely take advantage of her relationship with Vice President Han, and it will be empty. The trainees had different minds, but they also found opponents who were similar in strength. No surprises. Liang Tian, Ji Yun and others took turns. Li Shu rounded the sky. However, what people didn't expect was that Li Shu actually walked straight in front of the bald Xiao Hua. Seeing this scene, the expressions of the two people immediately changed. Xiao Yu in the audience was so excited that he trembled. He originally thought that with Han Peng covering him, it would be difficult for his brother Xiao Hua to do it today. I never expected that Li Shu actually took the initiative to seek abuse. Even if looking at Han Peng's face can't hurt you, it can at least make you ugly in front of everyone. Scold. If you want to blame, blame you for offending me, and your ignorance of power. Dot dot dot. Another one who changed his face was Han Peng. According to the strength ranking, Xiao Hua can rank in the top five of all students. Seeing that such a strong trainee was about to be abused, Han Peng felt very sorry in his heart. Han Peng wanted to ask, why did you say you messed with her? Dot dot dot. Are you Xiao Hua? Li Shu spoke coldly. Good. I advise you to stay away from me, otherwise others will think that you want to challenge me. Ah. Xiao Hua's right hand was bent 90 degrees and he screamed repeatedly. At the same time, the spirit beast ball in his arms was also thrown out. Chapter 19. As soon as the spirit beast ball flew out, it was held in Han Peng's hand. Before I announced the start, you started and disqualified you. All. You this. Double standard. To say that the first hand is also Li Shu's first hand, Xiao Hua is just fighting back. Ignoring everyone's surprised gazes, Han Peng handed the spirit beast ball back to Xiao Hua. Go down. He was well aware of the gap between the two. Xiao Hua had no possibility of winning at all, and could only be tortured by Li Shu's blood. It is not easy for Fried Sky Academy to cultivate a strong person, and Xiao Hua still has a lot of room for improvement. If given time, he might be able to do something for the Terrans. However, Xiao Hua did not understand Han Peng's good intentions. He thought that Han Peng was to protect Li Shu, so he said so. After all, how strong can a freshman be? If he really got off the ring, it would undoubtedly be an admission that he lost to a freshman. In front of the whole academy teachers and students, losing to new students. Then don't call him Xiao Hua, just call it a joke. The arm that was bent 90 degrees was forced back by his gritted teeth. Although he was already covered in cold sweat, Xiao Hua's attitude was very resolute. Never go down. I accept Li Xu's challenge. If Vice Dean Han refuses to agree, I will withdraw from school. And I will submit my letter of protest to the Empire in the name of the Xiao family. Well said brother. Xiao Yu in the stand stood up and shouted to show his attitude. Seeing this, other first grade girls also stood up one after another to support Xiao Hua. We support senior Xiao Hua. The academy should be fair. The ring is like a battlefield, you can't get out of the ring regardless of victory or defeat. Han. Peng's scalp was numb. You guys think Xiao Hua died slowly. The soil has been covered around the neck. I thought you could pull it, but you buried it directly. Xiao Shu, what do you think? You heal his wounds and let him come. Han Peng had no choice but to personally treat Xiao Hua's injured arm. Dot dot dot. Chu Zi sat on Li Shu's shoulder, slightly disappointed. If only this girl named Xiao Hua were a girl. The two girls tear up. Definitely much more wonderful than now. Pull your hair. Tear clothes. Sprinkle and roll. That's called wonderful. However, it is also very good to be able to sit on the shoulders of the female emperor and watch him fight. Dot dot dot. 
As the halo disappeared on Xiao Hua's wrist, Xiao Hua recovered as before. Han Peng looked at his confident appearance, and said worriedly, You be careful. Don't worry, for Vice Dean Han Sake, I won't let her get seriously injured. Han Peng, I'm telling you to be careful not to be killed. Dot dot dot. Without any more words, Xiao Hua and Li Xu stood opposite each other. The originally noisy Colosseum gradually quieted down. Xiao Hua took out his spirit beast ball and held it in his palm. Begin. With Han Peng's order, Xiao Hua exerted his strength under his feet and retreated. As a royal beast master, the first priority is to distance himself from the enemy first and give himself time to release the spirit beast. Come out, ice wing tiger. Roar. A giant tiger with ribbed wings and covered in sky blue bristles appeared in the ring and roared angrily. Ji Yun and Liang Tian, who were watching the battle, changed their faces slightly. Has the ice two wing tiger grown to grade B? Xiao Hua hides deep enough. Xiao Hua wants to surprise the two of us at this tryout. Oh, it's good. The two commented casually, a little surprised by Xiao Hua's strength, but not surprised. Xiao Hua is hiding his strength, why aren't they? Ice spike. After hearing the command, the cold ice two wing tiger flapped its wings violently. Rows of ice thorns flashing with cold light suddenly appeared at Li Shu's feet, trapping him less than three feet away. This is my brother's contract beast, when I first signed the contract, it was only C+, and now it is B grade, and I think in a few years, I guess in a few years, I can also grow into an A grade spirit beast. Xiao Yu proudly introduced to the surrounding students. Hearing this, there was an exclamation all around. All go. Is this the strength of the third grade senior? It's terrifying. No wonder my father has to make me a royal beast master, it turns out that the royal beast master is so strong. That's nature. Li Shu is now a living target, if he dares to move, he will have to pierce a few holes in his body. Another point, my father said, my brother's qualifications are not as high as mine. The implication, I will be stronger than my brother in the future. Classmate Xiao Yu has a great future. I'll follow brother Xiao in the future. If anyone dares to offend my brother Xiao, I will be the first to go up and fight hard. In the ring. The cold ice two-winged tiger jumped high, and the huge tiger claw slapped heavily at Li Shu below. It's over. Li Shu was trapped in place by the ice spurt, and there was no room to dodge at all. Only hard resistance can be chosen. Shake the spirit beast with manpower. I'm afraid that those pure cultivators may not be able to do this, right? Xiao Hua turned around and walked towards Han Pang, no longer looking at Li Shu. He had already figured out the rhetoric. When Li Shu was broken and fractured by the cold ice winged tiger, he said that he didn't expect him to be so strong, and he didn't expect Li Shu to be so weak. This be packed, steady, simply so stable. Not only did he not expose his full strength, but he could also pretend to be big in front of everyone. Thinking of this, Xiao Hua couldn't help but hum. Today is a good day. Just after taking two steps, a whale suddenly came from behind. Immediately afterwards, there was a gasping sound in the ring. The auditorium is full of slots. Xiao Hua looked back suspiciously. Groove. Li Shu put his left hand behind his back, raised his right hand to the sky, shining brightly, against the huge claws of the cold ice two-winged tiger. The tiger's claws are slightly twisted. The picture freezes. Is this still personal? Master Li, cut him in the middle. At this time, the door of the cold ice two-winged tiger was wide open, the chest was defenseless, and the softest lower abdomen was also exposed in front of Li Shu. Originally, Li Shu really wanted to cut him in the middle. But this sentence came out of Chu Zi's mouth. Although your judgment is accurate. But as a spirit beast, you have to listen to the master's instructions to fight, not stand on the master's shoulders, give the master instructions, and tell the master what to do. Besides, why don't I cut his middle path? Can he hurt me? Li Shu's hand continued to exert strength, and the cold ice winged tiger wailed and retreated. Quick, ice spear, Xiao. Hua in the distance hurriedly passed the order, no longer daring to be careless. The tiger's claw has been injured, and if it is retracted, it may break. A long ice spear shone with a brilliant blue light in its mouth. Master Li, cut him in the middle. Groove, you cut him in the middle. Watching. The ice spear getting closer and closer, Chu Zi was ready to slip away at any time. Li Shu was still unmoved, watching the ice spear pierce her forehead. 
Chapter 20. Duh. Boom. The ice spear was like a bursting crystal, bursting into Li Shu's forehead. Not even a red mark was left. Everyone was stunned. Ji Yun and Liang Tian looked at each other and saw the shock in each other's eyes. How sure can you win over Li Shu? 70%. 70%. Ji Yun looked at Liang Tian incredulously. Just now, Ji Yun deduced it himself, if he replaced Xiao Hua with himself, he would be at most three points sure. I didn't expect that a good friend who was almost the same as his own strength would be so confident in himself. Could it be that he is hiding his strength from me? Don't look at me like that, don't you still understand my strength? 70% of what I'm talking about is from people. My 30% certainty has to be my super long play. Liang Tian laughed at himself. Dot dot dot. Although Han Peng on the side was expressionless, he was secretly shocked. He thought of Li Xu's 10,000 ways to avoid spears in advance. Cutting the middle road is undoubtedly the best option. But Li Xu actually chose to hit her head. This was something he didn't expect. But this rude approach is the most shocking. It is not only the heart of the opponent that shocks, but also the heart of everyone watching the battle. The graphics are impressive. Really. At the moment when the ice spear broke, the stands went crazy. Good fellow. It's just a good guy. Am I dazzled? Did I just see that freshman use his head to shatter the ice spear of the ice tiger? That's the B-grade spirit beast ice wing tiger, and the ice spear is his talent skill. He's a humanoid beast. I'm willing to call it beauty and beast. Dot dot dot. You're such a head iron. If you listen to me cut him in the middle just now, how could it be so troublesome? Chu Zi patted the shattered ice slag on his body, very dissatisfied with Li Shu not listening to him. Look up. Taking advantage of the moment when the ice spear shattered just now, the cold ice two-winged tiger had already flapped its wings into the air. Xiao Hua also took action at this time. His hands were in the shape of tiger claws, and a cloud of azure spiritual power formed in his palm. The temperature in the ring instantly dropped by a few points. Ice Swamp, one man and one beast, attacked Li Shu from two directions. There is a cold ice two-winged tiger menacing, and Xiao Yu is pressing step by step. There are ice spikes in front and behind. For Li Shu, it seems that the situation is desperate. But Li Shu looked flat, just raised her right hand slightly, and there were flames dancing on her fingertips. Master Li, use the flames to force back the chill. Master Li, use the power of maneuver to change the descending trajectory of the cold ice tiger. Master Li, use the power of heaven to pull Xiao Hua in front of you. Quote dot 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 comma quote. Li Shu's brain buzzed. But it is undeniable that Chu Zi's suggestion is just right. First of all, the attribute of water and fire is used to lift the restrictions of the cold ice and mud swamp, and make his own movement smooth. At the same time, he used the cyclotron force to connect with the gravity of the sky, causing Xiao Hua to collide with his spirit beast. A seemingly invulnerable attack can be disintegrated in an instant. But on the other hand, it was Chu Zi who made the suggestion. I am a female emperor. How rich in combat experience, I need a spirit beast from you to teach me. The flame in his hand returned to his body. Li Shu decided to fight in her own way. Hard against the oppressive force of the cold ice mud, Li Shu turned slightly sideways and dodged the claw of the cold ice tiger falling from the sky. But in the flash, there was a hint of unhappiness. Phew. The huge tiger claw grazed Chu Zi's forehead, and the wind blew his hair on end. Groove. Master Li, you cut him in the middle again. As soon as the words fell, Xiao Hua had already deceived in front of him. His fingers curled, and the spiritual power of his fingertips flickered, and he grabbed Li Shu's neck fiercely. Master Li, save me! Chu Zi exclaimed, and quickly hid behind Li Shu's head. Looking at the menacing palm, Li Shu slapped out a backhand and shook Xiao Hua back. Turning around and slapped another palm towards the void, Cold Ice Tiger retreated to Xiao Hua's side and looked at his master. At this moment, she had roughly figured out the battle method of the Royal Beast Master. The Royal Beast Master and the Spirit Beast cooperate with each other, and there is no primary or secondary when attacking, but the Royal Beast Master has to command the Spirit Beast to fight. After all, Spirit Beasts fought entirely by instinct, and they would not have such rich combat skills as the Terrans. Therefore, the battle between the Royal Beast Masters still depends on the combat experience of the Royal Beast Master himself and the grasp of the timing of the battle situation. 
In this way, the contract beast can exert its maximum power. Thinking of this, Li Shu decided to end this battle. She had gotten what she wanted. However, before she could take action, Chu Zi's voice sounded in her mind again. Master Li, take advantage of the fact that he is not firmly established and his spiritual power has not yet recovered, hurry up and attack. Master Li, the royal beast master is the main body, if you cut Xiao Hua's middle path, he will be injured. Without the command of the royal beast division, the ice two-winged tiger would not pose any threat. Quote. Master Li, Li Shuren was numb. His own spirit beast is simply an outlier. Not only did he not participate in the war, but he constantly commanded his master. The key is that his suggestion is very correct, and Rao can't fault her female emperor's eyes. Perhaps, this is the battle factor hidden in the bloodline of the original divine beast. Master Li, you, oh my day. Without waiting for Chu Zi to finish speaking, Li Shu picked him up and threw him directly towards Xiao Hua. The direction of my finger is your battlefield. Go, Pikachu. Being in the void, Chu Zi's brain was blank, and he was completely panicked. You have to let him say that the entire Tian Yuan continent, even including Li Shu, does not necessarily have anyone richer than his combat theory. After all, he was an author in a previous life. And a fantasy author who counts on the hydrology of battle scenes. Chu Zi's details of the battle and the timing of the shot had been controlled to the point of pure fire. But, theory is theory. Practice is practice. Seeing the blood basin mouth getting closer and closer, Chu Zi was completely panicked. Master Chu, you try to cut him in the middle. Li Shu's voice sounded in his head. Where's the middle road? How do I cut? My hands are so short, I cut my head. Roar. A tiger roar pulled Chu Zi back to reality. Xiao Yu in the audience smiled again. He hated Li Shu. He hated Chu Zi even more. That kick some time ago made him linger. A G-class beast is afraid that it will be reduced to the ration of the two-winged ice tiger today. Xiao Yu smiled, life and death are unpredictable. Dot dot dot. Seeing Chu Zi rolling in the air, Li Shu was also confused. What's going on? Didn't you just say that? Just do as you say. Win steadily. Lure the enemy. Well, it must have been a lure. With Xiao Ai's rich combat experience, this wave must be a temptation to the enemy. Blue Emperor, tear and bite. The two-winged cold ice tiger jumped up and bit down on Chu Zi in the air. At this moment, Chu Zi calmed down. It reminded him of when he was a student when school started right away, but he didn't write his homework. He was also calm at that time. Because he knew he was dead. Xiao Ai, 100,000 volts. At the most critical moment, Li Shu's voice sounded. Time stands still in this moment. In everyone's sight, the goose yellow beast had blue light on its body, and it was not weaker than the downwind in the face of the two-winged tiger on the opposite side. Wrong. Not Blu-ray. There is also a hint of silver white hidden under the blue light. Quiet. The huge Colosseum suddenly fell silent. Duh. A crisp sound, like the sound of birth at the beginning of heaven and earth. In an instant, the thunder was dense. Silver snakes descended from the sky, and the first to bear the brunt was the cold ice tiger closest to Chu Zi. Before even the wail could be heard, the cold ice tiger was numbed by electricity. Then the green smoke rose, and the huge body crashed to the ground. The power of thunder and lightning continued to move forward, and soon covered the entire ring. Xiao Hua simply shouted surrender directly. However, the thunder was so loud that Han Peng endured it for a while and did not hear it. By the time he reacted, Xiao Hua was already numb. His body twitched, his face was black, and his teeth were white. Snap! The remaining lightning was smashed by Han Peng. While everyone did not notice it, Han Peng hid his paralyzed right hand behind him. The left hand helped Xiao Hua up, and he was taken aback. Actually injured so badly, Li Shu, win. With Han Peng's pronouncement, the entire Colosseum erupted into deafening applause. Li Shu stretched out her hand to take Chu Zi in midair and hugged her in her arms. Ding. Special mission opens. Special mission. Let the female emperor be a maid, one day. Mission reward. 8 million salted fish value. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe.